Hey guys, Miss JG here, and welcome to the new year, even though it's still winter there. Well, actually, that said, there's apparently a very nasty cold snap in Europe, so I'm just going to assume they're still in that. But still, we are in the new year, and as such, new things, one of which is this thing, the IS-7. Yes, um, in my Christmas video... Uh, slash bonus stuff. Um, I mentioned that I had this thing in my garage, and yes, I do, and it is awesome. Um, I've not driven it yet, but today we're going to. So, without further ado, let's jump into a battle. Because it's been a while since we've done these things, and for the first battle, I am going to live record everything, because, damn it, I want to. Uh a little quieter than I remember, but oh, hello. <laughs> Yay, matchmaking! No, <laughs> Actually, that said, this is very favourable matchmaking. Yes, this is the first time I've ever driven an IS-7. It's been one of those tanks which, for a very long time, I've sort of fought up against. Never really had, but just fought against. And... Yeah, it's actually kind of weird, truth be told. I didn't really think I'd ever get to the point where I'd own one. You know... <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> Here we go. Just choking to death on phlegm there. Um, it's a bit weird, because like when, you, when you're when you playing games like this, you kind of anticipate you never reaching a certain milestone. And uh, then you're like, oh, okay. Um, I have an IS-7. Hmm. And that, like, year, I think over a year ago now, which sounds bad, when the Rampage mode came through, and like for a while we got like free tank crew, I have kept them for this exact purpose. So... For example, there is a T110E5 crew that I need to grab. Okay, there is a Gewehr Tiger and uh, my favourite, the auto-loading scumbag. Hmm, a lot of tanks are pushing up this way. Now, this tank has apparently got some decent levels of armour. Boom! Good shot. Good actual high roll as well. It's my alpha. 490, that's actually pretty damn good. Like, on average, I could, like, do half a... Th you can pretty much drain most of the enemy's tanks. Um, that's the M50 ton. Penetration-wise, I didn't have a look at the penetration. I probably should have. But, if I can get through an, e um, an E50's side arm... Well, I think I hit the top of the side armor. Let's not get to up too quick. Need to be careful because I'm very exposed right now. Oh, hello, Mr. T54. Can I get a cheeky? Nope. A little bit too close. No one's really focusing the right hand side. Let me try and see if I can be a cheeky scrub lord. It's a little bit ballsy. Boom! Hello, Mr. E50M. You probably love me right now. Let's roll across the line. Ah, oh, so close. Could have got a third shot in. Damn. Da oh, hello. No, he's five seconds. Come on. Three, two. No! Fuck you. That hurt. You mini. Mini! Come, comrades. Reverse, comrade. It is your duty as not... Wait, well, no, you're American. Never mind. No, German. Fash... Ah! Whoa, no, 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 no. <laughs> ah, fucking... Hello, IS-3. Mr. Camper in the back. Oh, God, for fucking... Ah! Hello! Yes, I can see you! You are doomed. <laughs> you are so doomed, you don't even realize it. Can I get the cheeky last shot? <laughs> yes, I can. Ah! Mother trucker! Come on, move forward, move forward, move forward. <laughs> Literally there! I've been... M <laughs> Have you not... No I've taken multiple shots. I think it's safe to assume... That he is there. Ooh. Give that to... Ah. 
Mother trucker! Could some fucker please spot him? It's like that guy has such a hard on for me right now. Oh my god, it's 9-7. I'm gonna suit him. I mean, I appreciate what you're doing, Mr. Co with the scorpion, but... Oh, he's keeping me perma-tracked. I see. Bingo, and there's the target. Thank you. Artillery, give him shit. Times like these, I kind of wish I had loaded some form of armor pit. Um, armor pit, yes. I really wish I had APCR loaded. Uh, no, I really, there are times where I really wish I had, like... I'm going to roll up to the top of the hill, because... From this position, I can't really do much to help out my team. If we kill him, that flank goes to dead. Good shot, Mr. Tiger. Only the... Okay, random shot for the win. Nope, didn't think so. Oh, there's the key... There's the FV215B. Affirmative. Good shot, T28. Come on, roll me round, roll me round, roll me round. Lovely, darling. Absolutely spiffing. Hello. Om nom 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 nom. It would be better if the Tiger 2 did come out of his campy hole, but, you know. Oh, hello. Well, he's perma spotting me, and. Ah! He's perma spotting me, and I'm perma spotting him, so. Fuck, Buddles! Six seconds, come on. That was a complete fuck up on my half. No, don't, T28. That was close. Well fucking done. I know, Baka. Right, the good news is the Gewehr Tiger is down, which is great. Ah! Oh, come on, let's do this. No, 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 that's stupid. What I'm about to do is very, very stupid. Pull back. I could throw the game if I do that. Because they're all camping over there. Hey, T-54 Mod 1. Bet you weren't expecting me, were you? Ah! Angle! 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 Thank you very much, Mr. Gold Spammer. Oh, hello. Right, so I've now got a 20 second reload, even though he popped me in the shell. Don't rush! Good kill, but you might have just cost yourself your tank. <clears throat> Fuck. Really? Go suck a fat one. And a scumbag wants to pop me off. And I'm dead. Fucking scumbag. Really stupid tiger. Really, really stupid tiger. What was that tiger? That stallion. I know, Baka. Like, I feel sorry for the... I mean, we played very well, but... <sighs> idiotic tiger just camped back there. Yes, you've not got... Yes, you're technically bottom tier, but... <laughs> what is it with people and crashing today? I, I guess it's a thing. <laughs> God damn it.
Well, the M53 now has some solid cover. Uh, that was... Uh, you know what, though? I feel kind of... I feel okay with that match. It's it's pretty good. Really? You're going to capture? He's right there. You know what? I don't care. Oh, no. They're fine. They're just rolling into position. They know where the artillery is. Yeah, E50 is going to try and do that. But nope. And the T-54. He's going to try and go for it. He can't kill him in one shot. Dude, he's going to get shot. Dude, he's going to get free shots on you. Aim to the right. A little bit to the right. You bucker. Shoot. You're dead. You're not going to do anything. What are you doing? You can... Idiot. I'm sorry. He's an idiot. He had more than five degrees worth of traverse around that area. He probably didn't want to shoot there because his aiming reticle was so large. But what a moron. It sounds extremely harsh, but... He was a moron. He could have hit... Yes, there's a chance he could have hit the rock and blown himself up. But... There you go. Nearly 4.2k 4. damage. And unfortunately, the match just wasn't in our favor. But still, good job nonetheless. Like, well played to our opposing team. They definitely did a good job. Well played to that T54 player. I almost had him, but unfortunately, he caught me. I think with heat, but let's face it, no T-54 driver out there at the moment drives anything, <laughs> drives a tank without that thing, because, you know, heat's heat. Um, yeah, not the best start to my IS-7 career, but that said, not bad either way. So, I'll see you in the next game. And we're back, and I am on the Fisherman's Bay standard amount with all of my friends. Well, okay, they may not be my friends, but they're people. They're on my side. That's all that matters at the moment. Um, as I'm top tier, I'm probably going to go down to the town. I mean, my initial impressions of this tank so far is it's good. It's it's an enjoyable machine. Far more, far more enjoyable, at the, at, it would seem, than um, vehicles like the E100. I'm not going to lie. I love Germany. Germany's my favorite faction in this game, You obviously. Uh, you probably all know that. They're like, yeah, no, no shit, Miss Jaeger. But I, I never, I never really enjoy. Wow, bat chat rush. Let's not rush into that then. Hey, hey. Um, one twenty. Stop proving about France. Right, the T-10's slightly fucked. They're zerging at the moment. And that bat chat just finished him off. I've probably been spotted. Boom! If I haven't, I, w I am now. No artillery in this game, which is good. Means I can camp. Well, he says camp. Hello! Hello! Yes! Ow! Mene! Hello! Thank you! Thank you! I appreciate what you're doing. Turn, turn, turn. Hello. Ow! Main 8th! You're all main 8th. Ow! Ow! Motherfucker! Wait, I got a kill. Ah, fuck. I'm dead. And, yeah, I'm doomed. What? Oh, fuck. Fucking my god! Move! Forward! Eh? Hide behind building. Hide behind building. I'm going to die, but fuck it. Oh, my giddy aunt. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Leave me alone! Fucking hell. I think the term butt fucked is, uh, is considered a good choice. I mean, oh, my God. I hope I held them long out long enough. I don't really think I did anything in that game. I think this uh, e uh, this I7 is uh, not looking very nice to me at the moment. I think like yeah. Well, most of our tanks are on the other side, so hopefully we can rush up and do stuff. But that said, that bat chat force is ridiculous. I don't hold much hope for this game. I'll be honest with you. I mean, Leopard PTA is... what? 
1550. He must be stuck. No, but that's the top. That's everything. They've nerfed the hit points? I do not remember the Leopard PTA having that much hit points. I would remember, like, at least 200 more. Like, or at least 100 more. Okay, so we're turning the tide. Ah, Grille 15's on the right. That's good. That's good. Uh, T30 is on its last legs. Could possibly get killed by other stuff. There's the Emil 2. Ooh, jammy bastard. He just bounced someone. Can he get a kill shot on that Emil 2? Or will the Grille 15 take the kill? Ooh, Grille 15's getting excessively close. He rolls into position. He pops and he bounces, but he bounces something too! What the hell? <laughs> Oh, he is not bouncing any... Oh, no, he just bounced again, but he not bounced that one. What the hell bounced off him? Whatever it is, it clearly is foaming at the mouth with rage, though the game is looking at a bit like crap. The Emil 2 can potentially kill, though WZ doing his best from the nothingness of... Man, that was a very stupid move, Grill 15. I mean, I know you were surrounded, but you could have backed up. You could have moved to the corners for the cover, you know... Not the most intelligent of move, Mr. Grill15. I realize you thought you were self-fucked, but you could have done something more. Same goes for you, Batchat25 AP. You could have taken cover in the town and, like, even just being a nuisance to them, to make them look around, gives the rest of your team the opportunity to go in there and kill. And now the T50... Uh, yeah, now there's, like, only a few vehicles left. Yeah, yeah... <sighs> Well, the RU251 and the Leopard and the TVP are doing some decent damage, but that Jagdtiger needs to move. He is not going to do his team any good if he just camps back there. Uh, we're trading too ineffectively. What can the WZ do? Jag, seriously, stop camping. Nice! Good shot, WZ. Right. If they can just... If the Jagdtiger just moved from his camp spot, he could kill shit. So now it makes sense for him to stay there. Come on, get the kill shot, get the kill shot, get the kill shot. No! No, don't show your side. Oh, it doesn't matter. He's, he's either going to win or he's going to lose. I don't think he's going to win. Nope, he's going to lose. Ugh. Now, the best hope this team has is just staying put. See, I'm just going to say this now. 
I appreciate where this... You know, I can understand some of the logic that the Yagatika has. It's like, oh, I've got bad armor at the front. They can still pen me or whatever. Or they'll just pen me with premium. But, you know, it's... He's got full hit points. He's in a Yagatika. If he'd just gone to the village and stayed there, he could have provided... Um... He could have provided, like, he could have used his armor, his upper plate armor, because if he, if this bit can, to a degree, get penetrated or whatever, but then this area, as long as you get this mostly visible, then you'll be um, able to bounce pretty much any shot unless they fire extreme premium at you. But that's no different if you were driving, say, a mouse or an E100. It's a tough one. I will say, this one's a bit of a tough game. I'm very curious about how this will go. But, uh, this Yagtigo definitely could have helped out a lot more. I got fucked at the early stages, unfortunately. I kind of wish I had reversed a bit instead of gone to the area, but... Well, the RU can definitely take a sh Oh! Ooh. Ah, oh, that's nasty. If ya if Yeguru Yag Tiger, please don't fuck up. Fuck. Yag, don't must mess up. Yes, there we go. Great. doing don't back further away you could start tapping and you'd have to go uh... I can't really see how many minutes are left oh there's four minutes left so I mean plus he's on full hit points so as long as he doesn't do something stupid but Yag don't Dude, don't camp all the way back there. I mean... Oh, God. What are you doing? What are you doing? Come on. He's not going to move from that village, though. See, this is the awkward thing. They... He's got less than a few minutes, and the STI will eventually need to go, but what he's doing... Yeah, I can see what... I, uh, he's trying to hide in the village, so that way when the bad guy comes... This is going to be one of those... Uh...
There he is. Bingo. Right side, right side. Boom. There you go. <laughs> okay. Um, that was tense. Not gonna lie. But hey, my first victory in this thing. Um, kind of wish I'd done more. But hey, not bad. Um, yeah, not really. I don't know. We won thanks to the Yagatiga, but at the same time, not really the way you should win because Yagatiga basically waited for most of the game and then at the last moment was the STI made a mistake going across the open like that and Bob's your uncle. But hey, we won. And I, although I got fucked in the process, um, we won. So that's my first victory. <laughs> oh! Fucking world of time. I will see you for one more game. And here we are for the third and final game. Well, so far, my initial thoughts of this tank is... It's interesting. Like, <laughs> the games we've been having have been also kind of interesting. We've had one really good, you know, amount of game with, like unfortunate demise at the end and then we had one really bad start with a surprising victory at the end and i'm really hoping this will be just this will be the just right one where we get like a good game and a good victory come on let's do this um now i know this is just my initial representation oh, not representation my initial thoughts into this so i could be completely wrong put it by all means put it in the comment section down below um but i'm feeling that the is7 is kind of I've yet to drive the T-125, so until that happens, I'm going to make this and use this as the main reference. I would say the IS-7 is the the all-rounder for Tier 10 heavies. Like, I'm fairly confident I might be wrong, and it's actually the T-125 that has that role. Fucker. Um, but... What was that? Seriously? Oh, no, it's just rolling up there. But... T-51... Boom. Yeah, that was a bit of a bad shot to begin with. Um... But, like, the IS-7 has average, you know, decent, good armor, but can still be penned. Um, it has... Using you for cover. Um, it has good speed. The gun is really nice. And it can not only hold its own in, like, it, not only can it hold its ground, but also it can advance. And... This is main. This is kind of. It's very similar to the KV-1 at tier five. Well done, Yag Tiger. That's one less tier nine gun we have to worry about. Where did he drown? I am very curious. Right. Anyway. Um. But yeah. No. The IS-7. Oh, there he is. <laughs> well done. Um. Ooh. That would be nice to knock out. No, you don't! Oh, fuck. Right, let's roll up and try and give some cover. Wow! We've ruffle stomped our way up there. Lol. Um, not the smartest location for the Jag Jägeru to go to, I will be honest. Eek. Fuck. mostly. How the fuck does he still pen me? I need to study this tank more. Oh, there's the 140. He's down. Right, I'm down almost, but... Come on, burn you little fucker. Oh, fuck. Hello. One. Really? Oh my god, that was close. And I'm dead. Fuck's sake! Mmm, so close! Mmm! God damn it! 
Give me a... Oh! My freaking driver wasn't dead. Ah! Oh. I really want to know why I kept being penned. Was I showing too much angle? Was I not showing enough angle? Seriously, T62A? Dude, get that scumbag. Good job. Like, we were killing them. I just died before the end. God damn it. Oh, wait. Where is he? Oh, is he on the island? Yeah, not the smartest in move moves, IS-4. And again, I can't really say much. I wonder if that uh, Yagtiga rage uh, rage drowned himself. I think it was more of an accident than than anything. Oh god damn it! I was so close to living. <sighs> well, I did well. There you go, top three. It not top three. God damn it. Okay, top five. I will take that victory. First, like, three or four games. I will take that. I fucked him over. I killed him. I did damage. E100. Wish I'd set you on fire and exploded your ammunition rack. Don't know why I got shot so many times. Yeah, like, I bounced over 1k of armor, but god damn it. Ugh! I know I fucked up somewhere, but where? What is this goddamn tank? What is its freaking stats? Oh. oh, I'm going to try and learn the fuck out of you. Because uh, every time I engage one, it's mostly bounces. And now while I'm driving one, mostly pens. And I'm like, fuck you. Oh, okay. Anyway, this tank, definitely in the realm of averageness. And really want to see now what the T-1185 is like now. Because I'm hoping that I can either enjoy that tank more... Or this tank will have something else about it. I don't know, but... God damn you! Ah. Oh. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed these, the video. And, yeah, if you like this kind of content, do let me know in the comment section down below. I will obviously be doing better videos. Uh, well, bet I will be playing this tank a lot better in the future because I am determined to learn this fucking tank. Um, and also, it will help when I get Sixth Sense on my crew. Because Sixth Sense. Um... But yeah, without that, anyway, thank you very much for watching. I will catch you next time. This is Miss Jager, signing out.